about internet right now. They, they practically spoon feed you on topics of interest to you. Mm -hmm. Not like before, we have to go do a lot of research. They do it for you. So I have Google on, uh, for example, on nanotechnology, I have Google on solar power, I have Google alert on uh, what's happening in the US, on the economy, on Obama. So you think you're a better public official as a result? Of I don't know. I'm informed. Yeah, and I think information is very important in dealing with uh, a lot of situations. Sir, um, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of amazed because as a child, I used to always just read your name on the postcast and thing. But as a summary, as a child, uh, I know, what, yeah, I know, sorry, <laughs> oh, I like receiving letters through the post, and I know yes. postmaster general, that was you. Oh. But um, I know that you're anti-RH, and you're very, a very decisive person, and this is your stand. But what is your most a uh, flexible stand that you're actually going to bend over and listen. A new aspect of the RH bill that you're willing to actually, not compromise, but listen to another side and say, ah, okay, this will probably be no, As I said, it's a question of policy. It's a question of uh, allocating the, the resources. And that's it. And I have always believed that population is power. The reason why we are so globally competitive right now as far as BPO is concerned, it's, it's because of our vast uh, human resources. We are number two, number three in BPO, earning uh, billions of uh, dollars. We're about $8 billion right now, employing about 500,000. But is it a good thing that we also have uh, over 10 million Filipinos working abroad? That's a good thing. It's Such positive. Cost, in, the diaspora, in the diaspora is a formula being used by so many countries. Greece did that. India is doing that, China is doing that. It's the reason why we have NBC, we have Blue Sultan, is because of the Chinese uh, diaspora. They can extend their, uh, their culture, their economic power all over the world. Finally, the, sir, where the, do you the think? Mexicans are very powerful in the United States because of the Mexican diaspora. And right now, we're also exerting our influence in the US precisely because of that also. So finally, where do you think is this debate going? Is it ever going to end? I think it will uh, continue. I look at it as a healthy debate. Uh, I learn about it. Uh, I understand the position of the reproductive health people. But as I said, when you speak of maternal mortality, don't blame it on pregnancy. Blame it on the lack of doctor, nurses, and midwives. Because pregnancy is part of life. Do you see Congress deciding anytime soon? What to do? I, I don't think so. Uh, I think it's going to take a while. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a hot item. It's a very thick uh, bill with 35 sections. If they made it simple, then maybe we can take care of it very quickly. Like, for example, my house bill number 13, uh, protection of the unborn. It's a very simple bill. Uh, I think we can easily dispose of it. Uh, we didn't even get to that, no? Yeah. Uh, but uh, the, the good thing is, at least we know that Congressman Gollis is not going to stop calling us Satan and uh, you know, having us <laughs> ejected. Thank you very much for joining us on The Grill, Congress. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Uh, up next, who is Andres Bonifacio for Juan de la Cruz? Take a different kind of history lesson in our social experiment. Stay tuned. <laughs>